What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Dude, the weather today is just, uh, it is no bueno. I kind of regret not doing all my outside filming yesterday because it is super overcast. Looks like it's gonna rain. Windy as heck and hopefully you guys can hear uh, through the wind. We should be okay though with the dead cat on the microphone. We're going to be making our way inside here and hopefully finding my sweatshirt that I left in the Bronco. Now, if you have never been to SEMA, it is freaking massive. Um, you've got your three main halls, which are this building, um, the central building, it's another building past that. And then with the addition of the West Building um, a couple of years ago, you now have to cross a street which, or use the bridge, which takes freaking forever to get to. I mean, it is far. And unfortunately, the Broncos in the West Building, well, albeit it is the nicest building, it's got the best food and everything, but it is a mish to get over there. And one thing a lot of people don't know is everything you see around me outside right now is open to the public and free. You don't need a pass. I know to get inside, everybody's always trying to get passes every year. It's not that easy, but you don't need a pass. That's where all the experiences are, the drifting, the Hoonigan burnout pit and all that. Everything is outside. And honestly, that's where all the biggest trucks are. So if you want to see some cool trucks, you want to see some cool stuff, you can show up. Now, one thing that's missed a lot about SEMA is SEMA is a trade show. It's not some flashy car show, albeit that does go on here. Um, a lot of people freak out if you like, I don't want to say build like a mediocre build and bring it to SEMA, but if you build something somewhat normal and you bring it to SEMA, everybody's like, oh, that's not a SEMA build. You didn't completely take the frame off, build a custom frame, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yes, those vehicles exist here, but that's not the purpose of SEMA. The purpose of SEMA is a trade show. There's companies here showcasing their products and um, and trying to basically get buyers. You can't actually buy anything at the show. That's not what SEMA is and that's not what SEMA is about. You're coming here to meet up with, you know, guys like AVAC air compressors and you're talking to the reps and then eventually they want to get a contract out of you or something like that. You can't physically walk up here and be like, oh yeah, I'll take that air compressor right there. Um, in fact, SEMA does not allow any type of selling at the show. And speaking of air compressors, this one looks pretty sick. Made it look like an old barrel here. I like how they kind of antique everything. This one is pretty good. And then every hall is different. You're gonna get some halls where it showcases like off-road products. Some halls like we're in right now that showcase tools. We got like Valley Industrial behind us here showcasing some uh, CNC plasma, a bunch of other tools that they make. And since we're in the hall that has all of the tools, we cannot miss out on visiting our friends over at Harbor Freight who have been freaking awesome to us and to the channel. Oh! What's up, man? Me and Alana have been, we've talked for what, over, over, well over, yeah. since I got the ranch. Year and a half, right? Years, yeah. So Harbor Freight was awesome enough to, to send me out quite a few things, number one for the ranch, but also for construction, for a bunch of the stuff that I do. Um, one of which is, I've got one of your Predator generators, which has saved our butt many a time down at the ranch. Yep. I've got your airless sprayer, your HVLP sprayer, which also helps with the uh, guest house renovation project, yep. and a bunch of other cool stuff. Give me like a rundown. I mean, I know Harbor Freight yeah. is like just on the up and up of like stuff happening lately. We're here to show that we've got new tools, right? We, we're, we're not forgetting our core audience. We still have our value-oriented opening price point tools, but we're here at SEMA to show that we have tools for the professionals. So what we're launching at the show, and I think you're probably most excited about. We've got a new Badland off-road jack. Awesome. So big wheel jack. So one of the issues with this style of jack is it's got four fixed wheels, so it can be difficult to move it around the shop when you end up dragging it. Right. So we put a lock here. So with that lock, you can put it in the wheelie mode. Oh, that's cool. And guide it around wherever you need. It doesn't slow you down at all. And then I think one of the most important features here is that the, the riser right. is bolted on. So the, the mechanism, it, you, there's no doubt it's going to stay secure. So we have that plus probably what, another another couple inches in the riser? Well, that's way up there. So what are we, what are we talking about? Well, yeah, yeah not, not sure the exact uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. type, but this one's coming in at 300 bucks. Dude, that is awesome. So as you guys know, I mean, if there's one tool probably I think everybody recommends, it's your guys' jacks. Absolutely. Like, just bar none, you cannot beat them for the price. And I know you don't do a lot of uh, lowered vehicles, but we just came out with a new lo uh, racing jack that's all aluminum. Oh, is that, that's nice. That's really nice. The lift capacity on this. Uh, that's a one and a half ton. Okay. You know I'm a fan of some Pearl Flake on. Yeah. We're all, we're that, that one's looking real pretty right there. So we did a uh, contest, or not a, a voting on our social media okay. for the next color jack. And I think you'll be uh, happy with this one. <laughs> it's going to be a Metal Flake Purple. A lot. You are speaking to my heart right now, buddy. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't get it for you for this show. No, that's all right. This is sick. Look at that, guys. Oh, I think I've talked about it in previous videos. Like, your guys' goal now is like, like, 
don't even know. I don't think reinvent the brand is Va like value at every level. Yeah. Value so, for the pros, value for DIY. There you go. That's a really good way to word it. Everybody used to go to Harbor Freight for like the the one time disposable tools. But that is changing. I mean, from the Icon line, from their Jacks, from the Hercules brushless line, is, is, is this brand new? This is brand new, just launched at the show. Uh, what we're showing here is the control. So on auto mode, in two sheets of sheet metal here. Awesome. And it stops automatically. Oh, that's so you're, cool. You're not busting off the heads of self-tappers or ripping through the threads. So we got drill driver, does it come as a combo? Uh, these are sold as tool only. Okay. We are working on some kits, but we'll be launching as tool only by the end of the year. Awesome. I have picked up major name brands. This feels like much more better quality. Uh, here, I'll, I'll record you. All right, perfect. Go ahead and drive that in. I know most of the time you use an impact, but those are just you know, not a pre-drilled hole. Test it along, we're gonna test it right in the knot. So, this has got the auto shut off too. Uh, and that's speed two. Oh, yeah. that was impressive. Yeah, that went in like nothing. Oh. Try one with the impact driver too. To me, I see no difference compared to. I'm a Milwaukee guy, I've always been, and I feel no difference in there. Like, I if might anything. Have, I might have to send you a couple tools. Yeah, maybe. like, I've always theory about trying out battery power tools because I'm so set in my ways but do you know the price point on these yet I believe there's 79.99 bare tool so what do we I mean just just gauge me on an 8 amp hour battery do you have that pricing 8 amp hour battery right now is 109 okay and we do have a 12 amp and that one is 149 that sure beats three something <laughs> if you want to work all day without replacing your battery yeah right or you need a little counterweight yeah it's not even heavy this one's a sneak peek. This is a Series 3 here. Alon, you, you, we've got purple flake yeah. on the list, and then you can hit on my favorite type, your favorite color of gray. Lo load this on the back of the mini truck. The Denali's out there. We'll just load it up right now. Alon, I'll take this one with me. This is yeah. sweet. So black trim is all going to be standard here. Um, awesome. It's coming in all the colors we have today, but the slate gray and white are new colors for us. Uh, full length drawer latches here, so you can open it from anywhere. Oh, we got a whole power charging drawer here. That's nice. I like how it's up out of the way too. And for Series Three, everything is going to be modular and backwards compatible. So That's if you cool. have a Series Two box now and you want to put a hutch on it, everything will fit. Gotcha. So these are roomy. Oh, look at that. We got our drawer slide down at the bottom there. Is that an automatic light? Look at that. This color is perfect. What we have is our Icon range. That's our premium range. It's been out since 2018. We're at about 200 SKUs now. Uh, what we've launched recently is around the pliers and hammers. Awesome. So we have new Deblo hammers that has the uh, bead insert, so it has the Deblo aspects. Okay. And then we recently launched a, uh, a ball peam. These launched, they're in store today. We have more that are coming out there along the wall that'll be coming out at the end of this year. We also have a new range of pliers. Ones that's been doing the most success is our plier wrench. Quick adjust okay. feature, but it also allows you to grab onto any bolt. But as you tighten it down, because it has that little bit of movement, you can pull it back and it actually ratchets. Oh, nice. So you can get that quick, quick turning feature. What's coming, and it's not out yet, is we have these, uh, we call it our big four. So we have a slip joint plier. It has three positions versus the common two. Okay. So you can get in that middle spot and just get that whatever jaw opening you want. Nice. And then needle nose, and then we'll be coming out with a uh, tongue and groove style. Similar to the plier wrench we have what we call as our parrot nose jaw. Same aspect where it allows you to get on that fastener and move it around. It just has a little smaller clearance and different design. Yeah. Lastly, this is like one of our hottest items. It's a ratcheting bit set. So it's a, you can put your any type of hex or torques or flathead, but then it also has a flex feature and a locking flex feature. So you can move oh, that's it around. Cool. It actually comes with a quarter inch adapter in there as well. So you can make it into any type of ratchet, quarter inch ratchet. Nice. It's got a hex in at the bottom. So you can put in the extension that comes with it. So now you have an extra long quarter inch ratchet. That's Wait, there's more. All right, I like more. So you can get the, t the, the extension and you can actually pass it through. And now it becomes a T handle, and you can put the bit on the ends. That's right. All in a 
small portable case. Are these available now? Yes, sir. And what's the price point on that? They are $44.99. Oh, you can't beat that. Oh, we got the whole store That's here. Right. <laughs> All right. I've owned this 24 karat gold ratchet for right, I think right after they came out, right? Or pretty close to it. And there's been days I've walked around my shop looking for this size of ratchet and would refuse to open this one it, this to is use like, it. This is like a fire extinguisher break in case of emergency. Yeah, exactly. It's got a swivel lock here. That's awesome. And then a uh, hitch vise here with adjustable Allen so you can take out any slop. No two inch hitch is, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's like a tolerance of plus or minus half an inch on most of them, so. That's, that's an understatement. Zach, Zach, Zach. Oh, what's up, buddy? Welcome, Zach. Welcome. Are you ready to convert over? Depends. They hooked us up. We got the all 10 millimeter socket hey. set. We have every 10 millimeter available from our yeah, repair. But, but do they? They still don't come when you clap. Yeah, there's no warranty. They said if I lose these, but there's a warranty if we keep them oh. and we break them. Okay. Yeah. And then check this out. Here we go. Look at that bad boy. What? What do you think this whole setup? Uh, <laughs> not how much you want it. <laughs> yeah, I like your style, Zach. <laughs> no, this whole setup is 16 feet, about 16 grand. Retail. That's not bad. And actually, your guys' stuff, your quality now is, especially with your Icon series. Our engineer is from another one of the large companies. And we basically said, go build the box you want to build. Nice. And this is what we got. It's got a snap. Oh, no, it's, it's got a built-in fridge. Small Zach bought a snap on, he spends $85,000 and he gets a koozie. Yep. <laughs> Will we get a free koozie if we, uh, maybe maybe like a hat, a sticker, yeah, I a keychain? We, we can talk. All right, okay. perfect. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if I get a sweatshirt, I mean. We were just talking about being able to stack your cases in your toolbox and then having to write with Sharpie on the side. Harbor Freight said, nah, we got a solution. We're actually gonna label the sides of all of your cases so you know what tools are there. Yeah, even the, the ball drive press, that's the same style is the one that I have. The lids all have these pins that can, are removable. Oh, that's cool. If you wanted to put this in your box in a drawer, you don't have to cut off the lid. That's really cool. And then, Zach, remember how much uh, Dedek was rubbing his snap-on light in my face yeah. that he purchased? I'm seeing pretty much uh, the, same light. the same light here for $40. <laughs> yep. Nice. I mean, all sorts of probably gonna blind everybody, but yep. All right, guys. So I was just moseying around the Harbor Freight booth, and I ran into Joe. Check out Joe's arm here. Look at that sick word for a tattoo. So it looks like it was welded on there, right? I like it. I like it. Look at that. It's a blue collar sleeve if I've ever seen it, right there, brother. Yeah. Hell yeah. So Joe sent me a picture. What was it like over a year ago, right? Yeah, about Nine. a year and a half ago. Dude, that is so rad. A lot of you guys have been sending me work for it tattoos, which is awesome. You know, I got my little baby one. <laughs> and then I got guys like these to show up with so much cooler ones. That is so rad, Joe. Appreciate you, brother. So cool, so cool. Oh, and he's rocking the work for it. There we go. Boom. Not the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Chris. Yep. I can't tell the cost. <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're putting apparently the Harbor Freight stuff to test here. Put, put your hands behind your back. Oh, uh, oh geez, geez. All right. Ow! <laughs> Chris! Walk away! Walk away! <laughs> Testing out the Harbor Freight tools here. Yeah, clean. Look at that. Dude, we could be searching. It was so smooth. How did it feel? It feels great. All right, Zach took the precision one, so Dedek's having to use the, uh, the regular Are you kidding here. me? Like, this is the first time I've ever done this. I asked my dad when we were going to a Dolphins football game. He'll tell you about when I went to a tool booth, and I was like, Dad, I came from my finger, and it was purple and blue, and you had to pull over on the side of the highway. Yeah, you want to do it on your weedy? They got the little ones? They got the little zip ties? Yeah, I need the baby zip ties. I can't believe that this is actually like, real life. Zach, Harbor Freight has given us permission to scratch this so they can buff it out. Take pick your pick. Yeah, pick your pick. I got a, I got a knife right there. I was like, what, what do we have that's gonna make a ruckus? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh that's, geez. That's, that's a little aggressive. Oh, geez, Zach. Zach. Well, there's, now you have to fix that. That's fix you know. it. I need sandpaper. Hold on, Zach's over here destroying <laughs> stuff. All right, well, well, what keys were on there, guy? What'd you do? I don't know. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you were gonna lightly go <laughs> scratch. That, that's, that's aggressive. Here you go. All right, let's see it, Zach. Not, it's, that's a fine polishing pad, but uh, we'll give it a go. It might take a few passes. Crank that thing up. Go, 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 go. Yeah, everything but like where, I don't know, I took the paint off. 
stage everything from over here to here will make yeah. it look like yeah. a bunker out. Here. Wow, look, it's gone. Zach. Zach, we're not the first person though. We're not the first person. And it got all the... Yeah, it, it, it's not right it in the middle the, on the front. No, it, yeah. Let's spin the table. <laughs> What'd you find, Derek? What'd you find? Oh my God. When I was rebuilding LB7, how many times I had Savannah with a like floor jack handle trying to pry up while I like hugged the block and tried to turn it over when... His 50 pound girlfriend trying to lift the Duramax. Yeah. <laughs> when you could just do this and turn a block over. Nice. We're only... $280. That's really not bad. Traceable joints on all ends. That's nice. We don't get nothing now. Zach pissed off Harbor Freight. Zach pissed off the polishing guy. I should have came here first. How many beers have you had this morning? Chris, 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 <laughs> wants, Chris wants to get Zach drunk and then send him off on the loose. <laughs> However, Hi, that's, a, that's a dangerous idea. Yeah, that's bad. It's not. It'd be funny. We can't use 99% of the content. You are going to like it. Yeah. All righty, y'all. So we are wrapping up here in the Harbor Freight booth. Again, a huge thank you to Alon for uh, the hospitality, as well as always taking care of us over at the ranch, the shop, anything like that. We got a lot of cool things we're going to be working on soon, as well as like debuting some pretty cool Harbor Freight tools. So Absolutely. we're excited. Thank you for coming by. Check out your local Harbor Freight or harborfreight.com, right? Yep. There you go. Dedic, say bye. Bye. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.